Welcome back to Daytime Auto. I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to give my next guest a, an office here at Rogers because she's she's become a regular and we love having her because, you know what, we were just talking to Joe Avati. You know, comedy is one form of art and, of course, painting and drawing and sculpting, another other great forms of art. And my next guest has teamed up with some other artists to open a brand new gallery in Carlton Place. She teased it last time she was here and now she gets to talk about the fact that it's almost ready to roll. Pamela Stewart joining us here on the show. How are you, Pam? Awesome. Really Excellent. Happy to be here. Um, yeah, we did tease it, but yeah. let's talk about, you know, sort of the, the beginnings of this idea and, and, and where it came from. Yeah, so um, I think it was last fall, but certainly before that, you chat. You chat with your other artists and you're like, man, I wish we had, you know, a really great gallery. Wouldn't it be great if there was an artist run, run gallery? And certainly there are some around, but there are few and far between and they right. have different operating models. But um, yeah, myself and a couple other artists started talking. Um, in the fall leading up to Christmas, let's do this. And we're like, really? Yeah, let's do this. And, and we had already kind of sussed out the towns around Ottawa that okay. really didn't have much of an artistic presence or that might be in a good position. And um, like Almont and Perth and all of, like Merrickville, all of these towns had a really, really high level of culture and art. Yeah. And Carlton Place, um, didn't even have a, a like a public facing gallery like Sarah Moffat studio but she's not on the main drag and it's her right. own private studio and we're like no I, this is smart and yeah and I'll tell you about the Carlton Place uh, reformation uh, you know um, uh, restoration but like right. it's, it's really yeah it's been pretty magnificent are, yeah. you, are you you are, are you talking about Bridge Street in particular that's right okay yeah okay. so this weekend uh, so we'll get on the gallery but this weekend is the um, roots and and um, uh, I can't remember the title of the event. That's okay. They have there it is. It's our Roots and Revival. Thank there you, it is. Revival. See? <laughs> Our Sorry, director and producer is on the money. Way to go, yeah. Stan. So anyway, the weekend, this weekend, tomorrow from 10 to 3, the entire downtown core is celebrating the um, complete restoration of the main street. They completely replace, repla replaced the bridge, and it's uh, open and beautiful, flowers everywhere, and they've got entertainers and special events and sports setups and magicians and food and nice. like all sorts so of stuff. So they're closing down the whole strip? They're holding closing oh, down the whole strip idea. and we're going to be set up we're not in the gallery yet so we're set up right. right outside of it right beside the river we're going to have some tents up we're going to you know showcase some of our art we're going to talk to the community we're even going to have some tables and chairs for people to just relax and enjoy the view of the river right beside our our building fantastic so, yeah. well let's talk about the the gallery itself okay. right yeah. you're almost at the grand opening stage like you literally told me before the show we probably could have announced it if the lighting was there that's pretty much the only thing you're you're really <laughs> waiting on on, yeah, right? and it's which the, is really important. It is. Right? This is the story of, of renovations these days, right? Is that every everything, the supply chain takes a little bit longer. So we just finally decided on what lighting systems we need and ordered them this week. And we're told that it's about four to six weeks. Okay. And that's lit. Like we're getting paint on the walls right now. We've got our hanging system on order. Like everything's coming in. And, and the artists call for submissions for the other uh, local and regional artists to um, come in and be showcased in the gallery when out this morning as well. Terrific. So, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank this you. is exciting stuff. Thanks. And you've brought uh, pieces of art from, from the four artists, right? That's the right. four of you who are putting this gallery together, the yes. sort of the founders of, of the gallery. Right. Tell us about uh, the artists and, and the pieces you okay. brought along here with so, you. So, yeah, so one from each of us. So, this piece here is from um, the photographer and painter um, Jillian Marston. Um, this was taken during COVID when we were all really appreciating our natural environments, mm. but close, close, close to home. So she yeah. said she got really obsessed with getting close and personal with natural formations. And so this is a manipulated photo that she took during that time. That is beautiful. And that's that's a photograph? It is, yeah. And then printed on a canvas. Wow, because it looks like yeah. it has a lot of texture. Does it have yeah. texture well, to it's it? Been, or? Yeah, some digital manipulation. Okay. And okay. Yeah, yeah, very so cool. Really cool. All right, let's talk about the uh, the next one over okay, there. Okay, so the next one, I've got a little storytelling to do. Okay. So the next one is by um, a Métis artist, uh, Colleen 
Gray, who's known for her beautiful storytelling works, but also her Art for Aid charity foundation, which sends our art uh, supplies up to Northern Indigenous yeah, communities. Yeah, we had and, Colleen here yes, on the show. So she's Great. been on before. So this piece is called The Knowledge is, Knowledge is Power, and it basically is about um, how many women are denied access to knowledge through lack of education, how uh, empowering that reading is, and that knowledge is power. And she basically says reading should not be denied to anyone. So this is a watercolor on uh, synthetic paper. Work. And all of her pieces have stories behind them, All of right? them have stories, yeah. yeah, storytelling. It's very much in her tradition and her culture, yeah. Uh, let's move over to the one on top, uh, the next okay. easel over, and that's one of your pieces. That's right. So my pieces are very modern and different with the resin coating. This one is also on synthetic paper, but a totally different medium. Right. So it's uh, alcohol ink and mixed media and then finished on wooden panel with a, a resin finish. Um, and this was done during COVID as well when I was doing a lot of my open water swims. So right. it almost looks kind of like water and bubbles. Yeah, and I can see exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Beautiful. And then yeah. the one below it, um, gorgeous piece as Thank well. Thank you. So that's a photograph um, by um, Gilly, um, Ginny Faubert. And it's basically 100 exposures in camera, four seconds apart. Wow. So it's a multiple, yeah, a multiple, um, what is it? A multiple exposure time lapse. And so you see the movement of the clouds throughout that period of time. So Just it's very amazing. complicated to do that in camera. Yeah. How, how much different is it to have a gallery run by artists than, you know, and, and as you said, there's nothing yeah. wrong with those other galleries. No. You know, they, they play a, a great role and, and an excellent purpose. But, yeah. you know, why is this so important to you? as an artist? I think all four of the gallerists are very focused on supporting living local artists and just mm. really growing and giving opportunities. And so we've structured this to be all about keeping the costs as low as possible and to showcase as much of the talent as possible and give people the opportunity to see this art, which is incredible in this city and in the Ottawa Valley region. There's some incredible artists. And so it's fantastic in the sense that we can control kind of the, the costs and keep them as low as possible for the right. artists, but also then that savings will go to the community and we're really focused on um, partnering with the community, making this kind of like an integral part of the downtown core. Well, and it's nice you get so. to kick off with the community tomorrow as I well, know. right? And yeah. in Carlton Place. Pamela, congratulations you. to you and, and your other fellow artists. Again, Carlton Place tomorrow. Go and visit that main strip. We'll be right back after this.